All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Wakai Kodash. I'd like to say double honors to my apostles, a great millstone that rule well. I'd like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity, pushing the gospel, all right, pushing the truth, all right, feeding the flock, man, from four corners of the earth, okay, the elect, all right. Um, I came across another um, an article through the Spirit, because the Spirit, um, you know, was put on me to bring out these um, store closing lessons, man, okay, because this place is done, man, it's closing, Okay, now you see it on this uh, this article called Money Wise, and this place is done, and these other nations, you know, what I'm saying they 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 actually being deceived because they think that America is gonna last forever. Okay, you know, because they finally realizing that this place is um this place is this place is is not lasting longer. Okay, this place America, okay, um, the future of America is is, is 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 closing, man. Okay, so the more more these stores close, more the more the retail sellers um flop, you know, all hell gonna break loose, man. Okay, but I'm gonna read the article, and this lesson ain't gonna be too long. I got like four scriptures. This is um. Money wise, they say the chains have announced a ton of store closing in 2019. All right, it says, Have you been noticed more going out of business sales? Pure one bed, bath, and beyond, Gap, and other chains have announced more stores closing in 2019 than we saw during all of 2018, according to Core Site Research. shit out all right <clears throat> it says but the bloodbath at the mall won't end anytime soon as online shopping continue to grow another 75,000 stores could close by 2026 says investment bank usb ubs salaki says these 34 trains are shutting down the most u.s stores this year Counting down to the retailer turning out the lights at the largest number of locations. When you hit the liquidation sales, be sure to take a long cash back credit card for additional savings. All right. So they're using credit cards, man, for additional, additional savings. All right. <clears throat> so basically everything is going cheap. <laughs> Kohl's. All right. Store closing in 2019, Kohl's has been a better shape than those apartment stores you find at the big enclosed malls. Experts say shoppers think Kohl's stores in strip shopping centers are less of hassle than going to the mall. Say even so, the 2018 holiday shopping at Kohl's was quite as quite as good as expected. Lending the company to shut down four money four money losing stores this year plus a customer service center in Dallas where 300 people work but the chain says the closing will be balanced out by the opening four new stores though they be smaller than the typical codes all right we got target target <clears throat> all right one of the main manufacturer stores that's in America. Even popular and trendy Target finds itself money losing stores that it wants to shake loose. The company said it would close a half dozen by February. Damn. And what has become an annual event? The chain shuttered 13 in February 2018 and a dozen a year earlier. But don't worry, Target fans, you will still have plenty of places to use your red card, credit card. So basically, <clears throat> this is going to lead to the chip, man. Okay. The discount retailer was planning on opening 
roughly 20 new locations this year, primarily smaller stores. J. Crew. Right. Many malls are dying off, which is a serious problem for chains that rely on them, like J. Crew, the clothing retailer that was once the go to for preppy tread threads slakia hasn't made any formal announcement about new closings but there were scattered reports that six u.s locations shut down in early 2019 and in march j crew closed liquor store a man cave cavish menswear store that the company operated for more than 10 years in new york's lower manhattan macy's <laughs> at Macy's, it's particularly a tradition that an announcement of store closing coming soon as a as the holiday season end. But this time, Macy's got an early jump on things. Says the company revealed in November that a department store in suburban New York would close in early 2019, and Business Insider report four other Macy's stores were already on the chopping block. Macy's, you fav you women favorite store Macy's and uh what else, and J Crew mainly Macy's man, All right. It says Macy has since this closed plan to shut down three more stores in 2019 for a total eight. Analyst Neil Sauter with Global Data Retail says the chain need to dump locations where the return on investment is not viable. Lord and Taylor. <laughs> Lord and Taylor Clothes is its iconic flagship store on New York's Fifth Ave. Before the end of 2018, and a company planned to put several more of its department stores out of business this year. The New York the, the New York Shore <laughs> Stood for more than hundred years. Damn. This a white. It was a fucking white only store. There wasn't no Jake's shopping in these stores, man. A hundred years. Jake was getting fucking lynched, hung, castrated. Okay. During that time, man. And was the first to place emanated displays in the store windows at Christmas time. The chain's other locations are mostly found in malls. Meanwhile, l t <laughs> is hoping its survival will come via a unique new partnership with Walmart. So they they, they doing a one world order with these, these stores, man, in order to keep it afloat. A Lord & Taylor site within Walmart's website will feature over 125 upscale brands. Yeah, you tell this place shutting down because they hooking up with other stores to keep this money, keep the money going. Hell no. Stores closing in 2018, man. I hope I pray most stores close down, man. You know. Take all the pride and all the uppity um mindset of you people out there, man. Especially you niggas, man. The upscale furniture store, Z Gallery, is one of the several retailers to file for four. Filed for bankruptcy bankruptcy in 2019, though the chain is hoping to find a buyer who can keep the company in business. For now, it's closing about a fifth of its 76 stores in 28 states. Damn. See, Gallery is blaming itself for its problems in the bankruptcy filing. The company says it's, bu it's, bun it's bungled with e-commerce e and expansion and a pricey dis dis distribution center, according to Bloomberg. All right, Southern Southeastern Grocers. Huh. It says, you may not know that the Southeastern Grocers, Grocers name, though if you live in the Southern U.S., you've seen the company's supermarkets, Winn-Dixie, Buy Low, and Harvey's are institutions across the region. But grocery shoppers have been gravitating away to big box stores such as Walmart, Costco, and, and to Amazon. 
you know, you know, cause um all these since all these stores are shutting down, man, you got a lot of we got a lot of um a lot of people is uh shopping online now, okay. Southern Eastern Groceries is shutting down about two dozen stores less than a year after the company went through a bankruptcy and closed nearly a hundred of his locations. Hernan Bendel, never heard of this, probably somewhere in New York. Handbags and other items from the upscale accessory stores, Hernan Bendel would now become a collector's item after 123 years in business. The luxury chain closed its stores, closes doors, Slocky, in January, including at its flagship location on New York's Fifth Ave. All right. <clears throat> the Hernai Bendale stores has been losing money. So parent company L Brands wanted to concentrate on its other chains, namely Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. Yeah, for you fucking women out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all gonna make y'all own apparel, man. All right. So it ain't gonna be no more um, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secrets, lingeries, and all that shit. You know, because this place, America, is done, man. It's closing down, and what the, yeah, and when all hell break loose, y'all ain't gonna be thinking about wearing sexy um nighties and shit, man. Okay. Reality is smacking y'all in the face, okay? It says, things are getting ugly for beauty brands. Con, con, yeah, it is. And cosmetics changed with stores in a dozen states, okay? It says, first, the retailer announced that it would shut down 25 of its 58 locations in early 2019. A few weeks later, the company filed a bankruptcy and, a, and <clears throat> it would try to sell its remaining stores. Beauty, beauty, it's like your beauty brands encountered trouble competing against bigger and stronger rivals like Ultra, which is opening dozen of new stores. J.C. Penny, <laughs> this store been out for a long period of time, boy. This is the place you women like to go to too, man. J.C. Penny has many things in common with Sears. Sears closed down. Both were founded around the beginning of the 20th century. Both are fixtures in, in U.S. shopping malls. Both used to have major catalog business. And now Penny is fight, fighting for its life, just like Sears. Right after a bad holiday sales season, Penny stocks dropped below $1 for the first time ever. More recently, the company had it had it's like it most recently most recently the company said it would close 18 department stores in 2019 and nine of its separate furniture stores all right i think this it because i ain't finna read this whole article okay but um for 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 those that watch this video man y'all can read it on your own because i ain't finna go too further you know, all these stores that I'm scrolling down to, all these all these stores gonna shut down, man. Big Kmart, Lowe's, okay, Victoria's Secret. All right, I'm not gonna Sears. All this finna shut down, man. Okay. So for those that watch the video, y'all can um well it's the article. You can go to the article, um you can go to moneywise.com and you can you know read for yourself. And um, all these stores finna shut down. You know what I'm saying? They shutting down more stores. You know it's gonna, it's gonna. The more stores are gonna shut down, the more hell is gonna break loose. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and you, and you also got these other nations too, man. That that work in these stores. You know what I'm saying? They shopping these stores too. Mainly working these stores, man. All right. Some of these companies they own, they own some of these stores, man. You know. So that's the that's the philosophy. <clears throat> that's the philosophy of America. That these um manufacturing stores are gonna stay open forever. Which that's a lie. Okay. America's not gonna be ever be great. You know, because it's because 
is Bible prophecy that this place is shutting down there. Okay. Um, let's go to Second Ezra real quick. Go to Second Ezra sixteen and twenty one. It says, "Behold, victuals shall be so good and cheap upon earth." So you got all these manufacturer stores that selling they selling their items for seventy five percent off, you know, fifty percent off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> buy one get one free. Okay. Say, behold, the second Ezra sixteen twenty one. Say, behold, victuals victuals shall be so good and cheap upon earth because everything going for sale. Everything's up for sale, man. Okay, you go to these stores right now. You know what I'm saying? You can buy a shirt for like, they selling the shirts for like $25. You know what I'm saying? Like Marshalls. They got they got, they got got the uh, retail price for like what? I could say a, a nice name brand shirt like uh, Kenneth Cole or Calvin Klein. Sell a Calvin Klein shirt for like 70 bucks for a Calvin Klein shirt. And that shirt going for $15. Okay. 15 15 15 20 dollars or better well less than that 15 bucks 14.99 all right behold vitriol shall be so cheap good and cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case so people out here shopping at these big malls they think they're in good case because oh they shut down all oh, they all oh, they um yeah they 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 bring everything's cheap now you know what i'm saying Ooh, I'm going here and get the the shirt. They ain't not knowing that they shut they shut these stores down, man. Okay, it say that they that they shall think themselves to be in good case. The reason why they ain't good case because they think <laughs> they need to just put stuff for sale just 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 because they come to the mall, they go downtown, they see they see uh for sale signs, fifty percent off, seventy percent off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, buy one get one freeze. They thinking they just doing it for for their good case. They think they're in good case because they think these stores is like oh, okay they want more money, you know what I'm saying they want uh, more 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 shoppers to uh, shop with them because they you know they chopping these chop prices down, but guess what? And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Okay, so it's gonna be all hell breaking loose. Okay, it's gonna be all manner all manner of chaos breaking loose, man. Okay, and that goes towards the people losing their jobs too, because the more they, the more they, the more they uh, put up for sale signs, like the Boston store in Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying, the Grand Avenue. Okay, they didn't, they didn't shut that down, and they, they, they and then and they, then they was putting like fifty percent off in their windows and all that stuff. All right, says um, and evils, and even then. Shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So it's gonna be a whole lot of murders, killings, you know what I'm saying, slayings, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be all these grocery stores gonna be shutting down. It's gonna be famines, okay? Mainly in the cities though, man, because people that live in the cities, man, don't know how to survive in the cities, man. Because the city's gonna be the worst place to survive in, man. Famine and great confusion because they don't know what the fuck's going on. They don't know why these stores are shutting down because they don't read articles, man. Okay, they don't know why the they don't know why the stores is closed down. They don't know why the um these clothes being cheaper now. They confused because they don't they don't look into shit, man. Especially our people, man. Oh man, I'm gonna get this uh I'm gonna get this Louis Vuitton bag, man. It costs like two hundred. Three, four hundred, but man, it, they selling it for like shit, ninety nine dollars. But it's a real, it's a real Louis Vuitton bag though. But they selling it for ninety nine dollars, a hundred dollars cheap. But that motherfucker costs like damn near seven hundred bucks. I'm just adding the price to it because you know a Louis Vuitton bag costs that much money. But no, not knowing that, behold, vitriol shall be so cheap, good and cheap, Salakia, upon earth. That they sh that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. The reason why it ain't good case because they're gonna think they're gonna be flossing. You know what I'm saying? You know, flossing, you know, cheap and all that shit. But all hell gonna break loose at the same time, man. All right? Because because this place is closing down, man. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Because when all hell break loose, 
You know what I'm saying? And and and, and these and these grocery stores start to shut down, and these trucks ain't coming in no more. It's gonna be confusion, great confusion, because they don't know why that this place shutting down. They don't know why everything is cheap now. Okay, they don't know why that uh people people is robbing, stealing, and killing. You know what I'm saying? For money. You know, and that's why evil's gonna grow upon Earth, man. Okay. Um. Go to our favorite scripture, man. My favorite scripture of all times, man. Because this is prophecy, okay? Let's go to Ecclesiastes real quick. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. I'm going to start at 3. It says, in, that, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, you know that's the elites. You know what I'm saying? Esau, you know what I'm saying? The Rothschilds. Okay. It said they trembling. Okay, because they losing they they losing money. Okay, it says, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the and the grinders cease. Okay, grinders cease, man, because ain't no it ain't gonna be no jobs because for everybody that's working in these malls, mainly these malls is closing down. Okay, and these big manufacturer retail salesman stores is closing down. Okay, it says. And the grinders cease. Okay, it ain't gonna be no more jobs. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why. That's why Eve is gonna grow upon Earth, because they are few, and those that look out of the window shall be darkened. Okay, for for the for those that hope for the future, an American dream. You know what I'm saying? Um, my 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 kids gonna be this. My kids gonna be that. Man, look, America's future. America future is what it's gonna be destroyed, man. America Futures, martial law, RFID chip, um, concentration camps. That's America's future, man. Ultimately, is nuclear missiles. All right? That's the future of America. It says, um, because they are a few, and those that look out of the window be darkened. Okay? Because ain't no American dream for America. Ain't no hope for America, man. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no make America great, great again. Ain't no more wearing mega hats. And shit, you know what I'm saying? America's not gonna ever be great again. It's done. They had, America had its run, okay? And the doors shall be shut in the streets. And you see all these manufacturing stores, all these different stores is shutting in the streets, man. All right? Doors shall be shut in the streets, man. These are the doors of these malls and these stores and these retail prices stores and these, um, these grocery stores, all these doors in the streets, okay? They're going to be shut down in the streets, man. And I just read a good three, four articles, pages of this uh, of this article for those that want to read it yourself. And you know why the prophecy came to pass. So basically all these doors going to be shut in the streets, and they shutting in the streets now, all right? Shutting the streets, man. <clears throat> it says, um, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up to the voice of the bird. So imagine people waking up early in the morning, like around seven o'clock, getting getting ready, getting dressed, okay, getting themselves uh presentable to go out and look for a job. And that's what it's talking about. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Because when you well, when you get up in the morning, guess what? The birds chirp. Hey, you got to, um, you know, get ready and find your job on a Monday morning. Okay? And that's exactly what people are doing now, man. All right? It says, and all the daughters of music of, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Everybody know the music suck. Okay? Music ain't music no more. Okay? Everybody know that. These um, local rappers, these rappers, you know what I'm saying? They're making all kind of crazy shit, you know? But that's more of the story, man, about these these stores is closing down, okay? People ain't making no more money no more. The money, 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 is not gonna, money is not made in America no more, man. You know, America is running, running on, um, on the last leg, man, okay? The Lord is, is chipping away this place, man, okay? Um, I'm gonna go to Revelations. Revelations 14 and 8. 
It says, and there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of, for, of her fornication. All these nations that came to this place, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the drinking of the wine, the wine means philosophy. You know what I'm saying? All these philosophies that, that America dished out to the to, to the to all these nations, man. Now it's falling. All right? Now it's falling, man. Okay? It's falling. You know, you know why it's falling? Because the Lord is not dealing with this place again, man. The Lord is not dealing with this place anymore. Ain't no more God bless America, man. God is not blessing America. God is cursing this place. You know what I'm saying? And 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 how about Shema with Shai got his prophets out here proclaiming the downfall of this place, man. All in one stroke, man. The stores are shutting down. Okay. People is going crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Rise rise is kicking off all over the world, man. You got 75,000, over 75,000 stores shutting down. Why you niggas is not riding, man? That's the thing. Why, why, why America's not they too comfortable? All right? They too damn comfortable. And 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 there and they'll follow another angel saying Babylon is falling. Babylon is America, okay? Babylon is 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 America, okay? It says it's falling, okay, it's collapsing. This place collapsing, man, bit by bit, man. It's chipping away. The great city, the great city. The America is known as a great city. You know what I'm saying? It says because she made all all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Because all these nations, they come over here, <clears throat> they come over here, you know what I'm saying, and make a make a living for themselves. You know what I'm saying? But little do you know it's falling, man. Okay? It's done. So so they've been tricked all this time. They thought the future was gonna they're gonna they thought they was gonna plan for the future. You know what I'm saying? Thought they was gonna um, you know what I'm saying, live forever and ever, you know what I'm saying, with this money. This money is cutting. You tell a heathen, you know what I'm saying, that this place is falling down. You know what I'm saying? They they you got some of these heathens they know, but the majority of these heathens, they fucking proud, man. Okay. That's why that's why the Lord is is, is making Babylon fall, man. And 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 the Wadi Hal Bashima was shy, and I'm for that. Okay. Um So like it. Let me go to Jeremiah 51 and 7. So 51 and 7. So like it. Alright, just Jeremiah 51 and 7 say Babylon hath been a golden cup in the most highest hand. Because you know the Lord, Yah Bashima was shy, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he made the made America, he made America great. And he's in it, you know, through through the years and through the centuries, man. Okay. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad because they pissed off because <laughs> they found out America is a is a um it's a hoax, man. Okay. They found out America um is not upholding anymore. They found out America is going down. Financially, that's why they gotta leave. <clears throat> that's why they gotta leave this place to go to their um their homeland. But majority of these other nations don't want to go to their homeland, man, because they pissed off, man. They mad, okay. Verse eight, it say Babylon is suddenly falling. It's suddenly falling because you understand that the Lord is chipping away their financial. The money gotta fall first, and after that, then the chip, then all hell gonna break loose. All right, it's like a chess game. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. All right, yeah, I mean, take Paul for her pain. You got to feel sorry for this place. You know, heal this place. You know, there ain't no healing for this place, man. If so, if so be, she may be healed. <laughs> it says, We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. <laughs> Okay, this place is not healed, man. This is this, this hey, 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 man. America's got an open cut. It's an open cut that's not that's not healed, man. Okay, you can't patch it up no more. This this place is done. Forsake her, and let us go, everyone, into his own country. 
okay? And that's why that's why these other nations <laughs> was being tricked, you know what I'm saying, of these philosophies of, 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 of Esau, okay? You know, sell them an American dream. You're hoping for the future. The future is darkened, okay? All these stores are shutting down. That goes with the territory. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. For her judgment reaches up to, unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay? Because uh, the Lord is prolonging this place. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, he's saving this place best for last, man. The Lord could have been destroyed this damn place, man. But... The prophecy's got to continue to roll. All right. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord said, uh, uh, he's not slack according to his promise, man. Okay. So whatever, whatever prophecies that's in the scriptures, it got to come to pass, man. It's coming to pass as we speak. And the prophecy is popping off like fish grease, man. All right. Um, <clears throat> that's my take on it. Okay. I'm, uh, that's my lesson for it. I uh, hope you. Hope you brothers was um, edified, man. All right. Hope y'all was edified this lesson, man. Um, Till next time, Shalom.